yoga mala. Guruji has a pages, the list of benefits of um, shoulder stand. One, two, three, four. And Iyengar made a statement that like shoulder stand is one of the greatest boons ever given to mankind. People are overlooking shoulder stand. And it's, it's such a very, very important posture. It's like, it gives you the power to heal yourself, to like really go inside where it's important and, and direct prana. So even from the physical level of just cleansing the digestive system, um, cleansing the lymphatic system, it's good for the nervous system, it's good for the organs. So this turning upside down, of inverting, this uh, amazingly rejuvenating um, thing to do for the body. Uh, it teaches Jalandhara Bandha and particularly the, the feeling of it. So the because to me, Jalandhara Bandha, it's in the gesture of it that's really the key, which is that the chest expands to meet the chin, which comes down, but it's more this opening of the chest and then the redirecting of the energy by dropping the skin of the face, the forehead slopes down, the eyes down, and the chin down. And shoulder stand teaches you that, um, that Bandha. So also with, and Jalandhara Bandha does work with this throat area, which shoulder stand works with, and that's called Vishuddhi Chakra. It's a very important um, area of the body to work with and to kind of unlock. So shoulder stand helps with purifying that area and freeing your voice. So it's amazing how it can, it's a key to like unlocking your creativity and, and what your mission is, like what you're meant to express. And so of course to be blocked in the throat is, is a terrible experience. And shoulder stand done over time in a soulful way can loosen that and free the voice. The finishing postures are, are cooling, so they're kind of counters to the strong asana practice. They're, and they have a more meditative quality to them, and they bring a wholesomeness and a balance to the practice. One of the bridge postures, meaning that you can kind of bridge to the later limbs of the Ashtanga Yoga through shoulder stand. So you can work with pranayama. And you can do that with the later limbs as well. So get more into um, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, and even samadhi. Like become very still and very inwardly focused and absorbed. It's an amazing container posture for the mental energy. So prana, you can, it's a challenging posture but when you can harness the energy, you can really keep the prana inside the body and keep your awareness flowing within and stay focused.